it's lovely to see you all here this morning. And um, uh, quite a bit of work has gone into, as you can imagine, setting up for the service outside. As indeed, quite a lot of work has been done uh, for family services, uh, you know, during the last year or so when we've been allowed to have family services. Um, really am grateful to the team who've been arranging the activities, all the things that have gone in to, to make those family services special. And I think particularly thinking when we, when we came back again um, after the first lockdown, you know, there was a real sense that um, particularly children, I think you probably agree that it was nice to be able to do something together again. So shall we say thank you? Let's, let's do a hip hip hooray for the, the family service team. That's, that's Tony and Margaret and Helen and Helen and, and others too, and all those who've contributed, and Owen oh, Cherith and, 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 and Mark, Mark. And, yeah, and you know who you are. So let's <laughs> And, and, and for you, children, for coming along and supporting. So, one, two, three. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Well done. I'm going to hand over to John, but can I welcome Anthony, who's, uh, who's going to be contributing later in the service? I'll hand over to John now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Nice to see you. The great thing about today is we're actually allowed to sing instead of just watch other people sing. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, so I hope you've all been warming up and practicing and, and everything else. So we're going to start with our opening prayer and we'll then have a song. Um, so if you'd like to stand with your yellow service cards for the opening prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Heavenly Father, in our worship, help us to sing your praise, confess our sins, hear your word, and bring our prayers to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, the uh, children who are uh, singing, uh, or the, who are in the children's choir, if you'd like to come up to the microphones, and we're going to have our first song, which is Who's the King of the Jungle? Um, and you should all hopefully have your uh, word sheet, hymn word sheet. Um, so off we go. For singing. So today our service is, you can have a seat by the way, don't feel this is kind of standing. <laughs> today the theme of our service is caring for God's creation and as Robert mentioned we're delighted to welcome Anthony who is a parish ranger. Thank you Anthony for coming along. Great. So now I'm going to ask Helen and Anthony to come up and Anthony's going to tell us a bit about what he does and what the ranger team does in Croxley. So Anthony, if you use this much, is it's the right height? Thanks, I, use it. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to raise it a little bit. Um, brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by asking Anthony a few questions, but then if anyone else has got a question they would like to ask, then I'll open it to the floor. Um, so um, Anthony is a parish ranger. Has anyone heard of the parish rangers before? Quite a few people. So I'm going to just start off by asking him, to, asking Anthony to tell us what the parish rangers in Croxley do. Okay. So first of all, good morning, everyone. As mentioned, my name's Anthony. Thank you very much for having me here today. So what do we do as rangers around the village? So 
So, as some of you may have noticed during lockdown, the green, the village green on the green road is lovely and kept and neat because of me and my colleague James. We cut it mm, in the summer maybe every other week because the sun and the rain let it grow very, very quickly. Uh, it takes maybe two days to cut it fully. We also look after all the footpaths around you, including the alleyway behind your church. And we look after the orchard. We do all sorts around the village, really. We look after the countryside footpaths that lead down to the River Chess. So when you go down there, you get some lovely, nice cut footpaths and they look lovely, straight and neat. And yeah, we do all sorts, really. We look after the green, we look after the footpaths, we look after the schools, because some of the schools ask us to come and do the allotments for them. We build allotment beds. We do all kinds of things that we're asked to, really. We love helping out as much as we can. Thank you. And um, I know that some of you have spotted a new wildflower area in Croxley um, between... So, obviously, as mentioned, we've started trying to build a wildflower meadow there. Uh, the reason behind this was because, one, obviously it's a lovely little place with the green and the grass, but we thought it could do with an improvement. So what we've done is we've cut the grass down and we've got rid of the grass. We've rotivated it and we've had a company come in and plant some wildflower seeds for us. As some of you have seen, they are actually starting to grow and get to their greenery level, but they won't start to flower maybe for another two, three weeks. But then when they do, there'll be mixed wildflower seeds of all sorts of range and colours supporting lots of wildlife. And it should look very nice, really, is the hoping. Thank you. <laughs> um, and can you tell us your favourite part of being a parish ranger in Croxley? Oh. How much do you want me to tell? <laughs> two or three things. Okay, two or three things. So the one thing is definitely the freedom. Having the ability to obviously work with the community and meeting people is a very nice thing. So in my last previous jobs, I didn't really know anyone else in the area or the community. Around here, I know a lot of people, which is very, very nice. It's a very big sense of community in Croxley and I love it. Second thing, definitely the green. There's nothing that you can compare it to. Once it's been cut and it's all very neat, it looks amazing. And I, the amount of compliments that we get from people because of it is something else. It really makes the job worth doing. Uh, third thing, what else can I say? It's a lovely place to work. There is nothing else I'd wear where I'd want to go or where I'd want to be. Just, it's Croxley Green. Our motto is keep it special, keep it green. We love it. There's nothing we change. Definitely my favourite things about it. Thank you. And I think there's some of you, especially the children, that have never lived anywhere else apart from Croxy. So sometimes we don't actually realise what a special place it is until we've been to other places as well. Um, is there anything that you don't like or anything difficult about your job? Difficult, not so much, because everything around here is just so, it's got a flow to it. You know, you go and do your footpaths, you do the cutting, you do the green. There's nothing really, I'd say, overly difficult. It's just, it's got a lovely flow. Uh, the thing I hate most, summer. The pollen absolutely kills me. <laughs> Does anyone else get hay fever? Yeah, when yeah, you get all itchy eyes and a bit sniffly. Um, are there, is there anyone who would like to ask a question? Yeah. Adults or children? Go on then. Um, do, you, do you, is there a place that you would want to be more than the green? Did you, is there a place you'd like to be more than Croxley Green? More than Croxley Green? Yeah, so somewhere else you'd like to work? Um, you could work anywhere. <laughs> wow, that is a good question because now I really have to think. I think the only other place I would choose would be really far out in the countryside. Possibly out towards like the Lake District, Sheffield, somewhere like that. But otherwise, not really. I've found nowhere else that I would rather like to work. Thank you. Um, Imogen. How did you think of being a parish ranger? How did I think of being a parish ranger? Oh. So, before this I used to work as a tree surgeon and I thought I'd fancy something different and I used to come up here a lot with my dad because he works around here and then as soon as I saw the jab, jab? <laughs> as soon as I saw the job being advertised I just went straight for it because I knew it would be a lovely place to be every day and I wasn't wrong I'm still here after three years I haven't found anything else that's decided to try and take me away yet um, you can get the last question, Lily. Um, when we went on a walk in the woods, um, we, we came to like a, a, a parking. We didn't know where the park was, but 
park. We came to a park and I found it first and there was there was um so much press that my that my um eyes nearly fell out my sockets. <laughs> well you saw so much rubbish. Yeah. Yeah, sadly, around the woods, it is a very popular area for rubbish. We don't quite know why, but obviously we do try and keep on top of it. We do have, obviously, myself and my colleague, we do go around and litter pick the woods on occasion. Obviously, Three Rivers also go around and litter pick it because they also manage a section of the woods as well. But there are bits where we can't get into. So obviously, we had a litter pick with, I want to say, Little Green and York Mead as well as well. And they ran around all the little bits that we couldn't get into and filled up more bags than we could ever count. But they loved it. And it's... it's... <coughs> Sorry? Oh, there you go then. Come and join us for the next Litter Pick. You'll so, love it. So next Sunday, is it between 11 and 1 o'clock? So next Sunday between 11 and 1 o'clock. And where do they need to go if they want to borrow some litter picking? So if you want to borrow some equipment, if you don't have your own, you can go to the Croxley Green Parish Council office, which is on Community Way, just behind New Road. And you can turn up any time between those times and you'll see either me, my colleague, or Amanda and Ryan. And you can ask them for some lip picking equipment and they will go around and find you a space to go and pick. If you want to go to the woods, you can. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very, very much, Anthony. I've learned some new things today. It's been really interesting. Thank All you right. very, very much. much can you give Anthony a round of applause? Thank you. Absolutely, thank you very much. Um, okay, we are now going to say sorry to God. And you, on your yellow service cards, you will have uh, the, the words. I'll read the leader bits and then you can respond with the bits that are in bold. And for those who aren't so good at reading, the response is Father, forgive us. Father, forgive us. We look to God for forgiveness knowing that we have often grieved him through our failures and sins. For turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives, Father, forgive us. For behaving just as we wish, without thinking of you or other people, Father, forgive us. For failing you, our families and friends, not only by what we do, but also by our thoughts and words. Father, forgive, forgive us. us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us. Father, Father forgive, forgive us. us. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now I hope those vocal cords are still warm, because we're going to have another song. So children's choir, if you'd like to come up to the mics again. And on your hymn sheets, you'll find when your father made the world, when your father made the world.
once again, thank you. So we remain standing as we say what we believe, again on the yellow service cards. We will now declare our faith and trust in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who lives life to the pe gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now I believe that Vicky and Nick are going to come and read us, do our reading for us. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds and the animals of the wild. The birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Thank you. Okay, now on a slight deviation from the order of service in front of you, we thought five songs in one service for the first time, that might be too many. So we're going to jump to a talk, and Richard is bringing his holiday bag. You yeah, can't go on a holiday, yeah. Richard. I've had enough holiday. Okay, he's off, he's off. Over to Richard. I'm not quite so tall as you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody, I wonder if you can think of something that you really love, okay? So use your imaginations and think of something or somebody or maybe a pet that you really love, okay? <laughs> Is it a lion? <laughs> a dinosaur. Okay, put your hand up if you thought of that special thing that you really love. Yes, what have you thought of? A teddy bear. A teddy bear. Lovely. Lots of people love their teddy bear. Don't, what, what do you love? Yep. Um, my family. Your family. Lovely. Families are really important to love. Yes? Um, I love singing and dancing. Oh, that's great. Lovely. That's beautiful. Can we see some dancing a bit later as well as singing? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Okay. What do you love? Yeah? Animals, yes. Family. Family, yeah. Your fat cat. What's your fat cat called? Bagheera. What a wonderful name. Lovely. Yeah, what's yours? Oh. Butterflies. You love butterflies. Great. One over here. Birds. Birds. You love birds. Oh, what, what lovely things we're loving. Yes? Um, teddy bear. Teddy bear. Another teddy bear. Lovely. That's a, one more here, yeah? Your tortoises. What are your tortoises' names? Harley and Violet. Harley and Violet. Lovely. That's really good. So we've got lots of things that we love. Now then, think of that thing or that person or that pet. Now, if you had to, if you had to leave them with somebody to look after, what would you want them to do? What would you want the person that's going to be looking after your teddy or your pet or your family or all the things that we've named, what would you want them to do? Yes, what would you want them to do? You'd want them to look after them, wouldn't you? Absolutely, you want them to care for them, yes? What else would you like? You're saying that you want them, yeah? What would you like for your fat cat Bagheera? He, 
Are you like to f you'd like her to be fed? Yeah, that's good. Yes. Pardon? You want them to save them? Yeah, lovely. That's good. We got some good ideas. One more good idea. Yes. To lock it in the cupboard, yeah, so it'd be safe, yeah, that's good. So we've thought about things that we love and how we'd like them to be looked after. And actually, different things need to be looked after differently because you probably wouldn't want Bagheera, the fat cat, to be locked in the cupboard, would you? No, but that's just right for the teddy bear. Now then, so we're thinking about things we love. Now, I want you to think now of something that God loves okay so you've thought about something that you love let's think about something that God loves I've got a bit of a clue in my bag I'm not really on my way on holiday it's the end of half term sadly here's something that God loves tell me what it is now then what's that yeah it's the world God loves the world. Now then, adults, and maybe extremely bright children as well, can anybody tell me what the most translated verse in the Bible? Tony. I'll go with John 3.16. It God is. so loved the world. Perfect. John 3.16 has been translated into more languages than any other verse in the Bible. For God so loved the world. Now it's interesting. It's not God so loved human beings. Or God so loved Christian people. Or even God so loved the people he likes and who like God. It's God so loved the world. Everything, the whole world and everything that's in it. Now, the Bible verse that we heard today comes from a long time before that, hundreds of years before that, from Psalm 8. And it reminds us that God made everything, the world and bigger than the world, the whole universe. We heard words when I look at the sky which you have made, and the moon and the stars which you've set in their places, God made everything. And we read in the right at the beginning of the Bible, we look we, in the book of Genesis, right, the first chapter, we hear of how God made all those things in six stages. And at the end of each stage, God said, it was what? Good. It was good. And at the end of the sixth stage, when God made human beings, God said it was very good. It's really interesting. If you read through Genesis chapter 1, God says everything was good except human beings. And God said it was very good. And God has given us a place, a responsibility to look after the world which is good. We heard about that in the reading this morning where we heard you appointed them, that's human beings, as rulers over everything. So God has called us to look after the thing which God loves. Just like when you thought of your family or your teddy bears or your tortoises or your big fat cat called Bagheera, how you would want someone to look after them, a little bit like that, God wants us to look after the world. Wow, that's an important job to do, isn't it? And how are we doing? How do you think? Not very well, Not very well I think, is the uh, general consensus. Absolutely. But, you know, there's things that we can do to make it better. What sort of things do you think we can do to help look after God's world now? Yes. 
We can pick up litter because litter is cluttering up God's world and making it nasty, isn't it? Really good. Yes. What else can we do? We can reduce our plastic waste. Absolutely. We can use less plastic and we can recycle the plastic we do use. Excellent. How about this side? Anybody got any good ideas over here? What we can do to help to look after God's world? Yes. We can plant more trees and bushes, can't we? Because trees and bushes give off oxygen, which we as human beings need to use in order to breathe. Absolutely. These are some really good things that we can do. Got another one? We can refill plastic things, can't we? Instead of buying another one. Yeah, absolutely. That's really good. And we can plant all sorts of things like our beautiful community herb garden so that we can share these beautiful plants and herbs with other people in our community. We can try and walk or cycle rather than get in the car to drive round the corner. I had a bad foot yesterday and I was really tempted to drive here this morning and then I thought of the length of hypocrisy that would be as I drove into the car <laughs> from Watford Road so I did walk and my foot's feeling much better so that's all right. So we can do all sorts of things and we can go out with the rangers next Sunday and help pick up other people's litter to make the place much cleaner. I wondered, did anybody hear of No Mo May? Yeah? Did anybody do No Mo May? <laughs> nearly. You nearly made it. No Mo May was all about enabling grass to grow and some of the wild flowers that grow with it and for them to grow up and to seed so that wild flowers can continue. I know it's Mark's favourite thing, I can imagine, yes. No Mo May. But, you know, if you missed it, you could make a No Mo bit of your garden. And so we have a little bit of our garden, which is only mown by the guinea pigs. And they munch away, and uh, that little bit of garden is quite a lot higher in the grass than the rest of the garden. And all sorts of things grow in it so that we can share some of the beautiful, natural things in the garden. And we as a country can do something this year. The adults here may have heard that we're hosting something called COP26 in November. If you haven't heard of it, Google it. Um, it. COP stands for the Conference of the Parties. Sounds all very grand. But it's the United Nations Climate Change Conference, and it's taking place in Glasgow. And we can lobby our MPs to make them to speak up for the climate and for the environment. So there are lots of things we can do in a local level with the things we do, in a national level with the things we say, as we take our responsibility to look after God's world, just like we would want people to look after things that are precious to us. Amen. Some uh, excellent ideas there. Um, I must confess, I did no mo me, but that's mainly because I forgot to mo rather than anything <laughs> intentional. But it's a, it's a great idea, so I, I might follow up on that one. Thank you. We're now going to have our next song, which is Milk Bottle Top. So if the, uh, if the children's choir would like to come up again, I'll move the microphone for you. And again, on your service sheets, on your hymn sheets, you should have Milk Bottle Tops listed.
well done. Okay, and we, you can now take your seats and we're going to have some prayers, which, if I remember rightly, are going to be led by Tony and Liz, with able assistance from Poppy and Alfie. Right, well, in, in our prayers, of course, we usually have a sort of a phrase and your response on PowerPoint, but today we have human PowerPoint. <laughs> There you go. In our prayers today, the response to the words, Creator God, is help your people to care for your world. Father God, we thank you for the wonder and beauty of your creation, for the mountains and the fields, for the rivers and the seas. Help us to take care not to pollute the rivers and the seas around us. Creator God, Help your people to care for your world. Father God, we thank you for the countryside and the opportunities we have to enjoy it. Help us to remember to take nothing but photographs and leave nothing but footprints. Creator God, help your people to care for your world. Father God, we pray for the world leaders meeting in Cornwall this week. Guide them as they consider what needs to be done to tackle the climate change crisis. Creator God, help, help your people, people to care for your world. We pray too for our leaders as they seek to find a way forward out of the coronavirus pandemic. We pray that resources may be made available so that all countries may be able to vaccinate their people against the virus. Creator God, Help your people to care for your world. Father of all, we pray for ourselves, our families and friends. Guide us, Heavenly Father, to love our neighbours as ourselves and to care for those who are less fortunate than we are. Creator God, help, help your people to care for your world. And we join together in the Lord's Prayer, which you'll find on the back of the yellow cards. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you very much. And before the closing and the blessing, we'll just say the final prayer, which again is on the back of your service cards, in, on the yellow service cards. Almighty God, we thank you for helping us to worship you. Be with us, Lord, as we go out into the world. May our lives, as well as our worship, be always pleasing in your sight. For the glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Robert will come and do a blessing. The uh, next family service is, is due for the, the 4th of July. I was thinking, well, hopefully we can meet in church. But on the other hand, it's been lovely being outside. So perhaps we should be outside again next month. We'll see. But we'll let you know what the plans are. So we bow our heads for the blessing. The love of the Lord Jesus draw you to himself. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service. The joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts. And blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. One, two, three. Amen. Amen. See you next time.